Hey everyone and welcome. Garmin's ECG app is a useful addition for health monitoring, but getting access to it can be surprisingly tricky. Depending on where you live, it might not even be available. Today we're diving into this topic, which Garmin watches have it, the frustrating country restrictions and the controversial workarounds that people are using. Let's get the specifics out of the way. As of today, a decent number of Garmin watches can take ECG readings. This includes the Venue 2 Plus, which was the first, along with various models from the Phoenix 7, Epix, and even the D2 Mach 1. Keep in mind, new devices might get added to the list in the future, but here's where it gets frustrating. Even if you own a fancy Garmin with ECG support, the feature might be locked depending on your location. That's because Garmin needs approval from health authorities in each country before people can use it. For now, only the US, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Vietnam have given the green light. This leaves users in Europe, Australia, and many other places out in the cold. And frankly, it's understandable that people want access to a feature they technically paid for. This is where we venture into murky territory. Tech-savvy folks have figured out ways to trick their Garmin watches into thinking they're located in an approved country. However, I need to repeat the warning. Garmin doesn't officially support this. Going this route puts your watch at risk and could void your warranty. The workaround typically involves changing your Garmin account region to the U.S., using a VPN service to make it look like you're located there, and sometimes even using a GPS spoofing app for extra trickery. It's not a simple process, and there's always a chance something will go wrong. We've actually recorded a separate video on how to enable ECG, regardless of your location. The link can be found in the description below and at the end of this video. Let's say you've taken the plunge and the ECG app is now magically working. What's it like to take a reading? Thankfully, it's super easy. Find a quiet spot, put your watch on snugly, open the ECG app, follow the instructions, and rest your fingers on the watch bezel. Within 30 seconds, the app will try to identify your heart rhythm. Now keep in mind that this isn't a substitute for a proper medical diagnosis. It can potentially pick up signs of atrial fibrillation, but if you have any serious concerns, seeing a doctor is the only responsible thing to do. So, that's the messy scoop on Garmin's ECG app. Hopefully, Garmin keeps working to get this feature approved in more countries, making it accessible to everyone without risky workarounds. It would be much simpler if they could just flick a switch and make it universal, wouldn't it? Have you tried this ECG feature? Was it worth jumping through hoops to get it? Let's discuss this in the comments. Thanks for watching.